Hi. Now in this next part, part D, we've got to calculate the minimum value of A, giving your answer to the nearest integer. And we found out that this minimum value occurred in the previous part when X was 2.1215 and so on. So all we've got to do is just substitute this value into our equation here for A. So if we do that, let's just see what we get. We'll just say here when x equals 2.1215 and so on. Then we've got therefore a equals 2 pi multiplied by 2.1215 and we've got to square that, okay, plus 120 then all over 2.1215 and so on, okay. Substitute that value in, work it out then on your calculator. What do you get? Well, it comes out as 84.842 and so on. But we've got to give this to the nearest integer, so this is going to be 85. And we'll just put here to nearest integer. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy then.